I'm vlogging while I run. I'm vlunning and I'm just being real and genuine and talking to my friends. So I'm glad you're here. Hi. I honestly don't know how you would feel if you knew how giddy I was to make videos just talking, just to have someone to talk to. It's about as giddy as I would feel when I would overhear conversations at my work and they just seemed like really cool people and there was plenty of work that I had already done and plenty of work to do around the general area so that I could join in on conversations and just feel like a part of a group for a minute. Those times just filled me up. If I keep talking about this, I might cry. Whew. I've been thinking about annoying things that people can say. Like, oh, I wish I had your energy. I wish I had your motivation. And how anybody who's a motivated person in their core knows that this is an irritating thing to hear because it's like people are setting themselves apart as less special and less able. You know, it's like I've had people say, I had an early miscarriage. People were like, I don't know if I could handle that. It's not like some people are especially more gifted to handle loss, horrible losses on any end of the spectrum, early term, or, you know, any kind of loss, family, sickness, so like there's special people that, like, oh yeah, they can handle it, so it's gonna happen to them. Butterfly, it's so yellow and bright. It's like neon. <sighs> you just have no choice. You can go on or you can stay depressed. You just, you have to keep living your life. So last night, two nights ago, I actually had a dream. And I got to see one of my uncles that passed away nine years ago. I get these dreams just every so often. They're so special, but I wish I didn't have to be sad in the dream. I wish in the dream, I would just be like, oh, so good to see you. But in the dream, I'm always crying. And last night, two nights ago, he said, why are you crying? And I said, because I wish you were really here. I think it's like a person's legacy, how you're remembered. So much goes into how you made the, how they made you feel, how you make people feel. It's not about how good the quality is. It's not about the package. In the end, the equipment, our bodies, it's all just a tent. But my uncle, man, he made me feel like I mattered all the time. He made everyone feel like they mattered. If anyone had a need, he would immediately try to figure out how he could help them. Turn around point. Come on, yappy dog. I need you to be outside and give me motivation. <sighs> Even from when I was a kid though, he just treated me like an equal. And he just had real compassion. 
Oh, I miss him so much. Our stories and the stories of the people that we love. It's so important to tell them. To not worry about how well we're telling them. <laughs> but just to tell them. I just needed to feel the cool wind for a bit. I'm just so, so thankful for you, for amazing people that I've met through the internet. I've been really lonely for a long time. I've lived in Sweden for three-ish years. My moments of connecting with people in real life seem to be pretty few and far between. And I'm just like, such cool people out there. Kamga, I met him through, through um, a really cool video where, um, uh, Rains. The guy who started No Small Creators, Cody Wanner, surprised him with a bunch of free equipment. And just the, the real open conversation between them was really touched me. I really got where I was about my insecurities and about niche and creating in general and why am I doing it. And I wrote a long, deep comment, and he responded, and we eventually started chatting through Facebook. And I've listened to some of his podcasts, read some of his Medium articles. He's going to help me get into blogging again. And today he sent a gift card for me to get a microphone. I want to get a lapel mic for when I run and it's windy. And also it's just a good small step for improving quality. If I want to record with my phone and not just on the computer. You should definitely check out his channel. He really talks from the heart. Every time I watch one of his videos, I'm like, wait. Well, not anymore. But before, I'd be like, wait. This is a 20-minute video. There's no editing. I mean, I'm sure there's editing, but you know, no zoom-ins and zoom-outs. No B-roll. Just him talking. And I listen or watch the whole thing. Like, okay. Maybe all that other stuff isn't always necessary. So many people say share about Johnny James Jam Rock and, and Bark Norsey and just really cool people out there. They just get excited when they put up new videos. I got so caught up in my belly dance, drumming dance, that I forgot to, you know, say stuff. So there's actually going to be two videos tomorrow. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe because I'm posting too much. 
Unless you don't want to watch my videos, in which case you should subscribe, unsubscribe. So there, I'm going to be doing participating in a Earth Day collab. Me and the girls went to a recycling place close to home. There wasn't too many people around. We, 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 we were careful. Oh, I wanted to share some footage, um, just some pictures of my Uncle Steve because I have them and it's always cool to have a face to connect to somebody to hearing me just telling you a little bit about him as well as, for those of you who are curious, some footage from the infamous cat game I mentioned yesterday. So here's that coming. But before I go let that footage go, I'll just say hugs now and I'll also say nostrils. Of death. Go rest high on that mountain, cause son, your work on earth is done. Go to heaven, shouting praise to the Father and the Son. Red. I got a cat. The next cat. Blue. It's a mouse. One, two, three, four, five. You won. I'm so proud of you. What are you going to do next? Play! I don't think so. Yeah!